excavation. Follow you. Hey, big dog. Hey, look at that depression there. You know, if they were going to make a challenge in on us, something might be down there. Yeah, and that's what I think seven is at. Okay. Okay, no, those are the, I think Don, uh, Don's looking at eight. Seven is off to our, it's like right up in there. And it makes that hitch on the, so yeah, see, I see we're right in the split see, of these, these two. Are, these are these two depressions. So we're right there. She's got it already? She's got eight and then seven, or number one rather, is gonna be in another uh, excavation. I'll bring my bike up there, let's backtrack. We'll look at this one and then we'll go straight out from it. Where'd you see it? Where, where is it? Did I miss it? See, this is what works so well. Her eyes pick this stuff up right away. Yeah, but at night, that's oh, look at that. At night, that's reflective. Yeah. So that's gonna, you're going to pick that up. Yeah, let's see. I'll get the number on that one. Okay. So this is 8 and 842. I'm still, am I blinking up here? Is it yeah, recording? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, good. So All right. here's the thing, north, by my reckoning, is that way. And we're just off by about three meters to the left, two meters to the left of north, and about 50 meters. So looking at eight. So, so you see this, this uh, half tree, Don, straight in front of you, that half tree? From this point, I think we're headed that way through the clear. Yeah. Is that follow? We, we, we stay in the clearing, we don't get into the thick, and we don't change our elevation any from here. So I'm showing, you see, if, if I'm correct, there. Like, so I'm right over, the, right over eight, I'm on north, and one is on the lubber line is slightly, no, the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. One. Okay, so I'm showing right through there, but actually there, right where Don's heading. I see her in a little bit less, a little bit less. Okay, so I see her at a bearing of 200. And pacing, let's see, going by what I just learned was centimeters. Okay, so eight to one is, it's exactly almost one centimeter. This is 50 meters. So 50 meters right off dawn. See, and I, I'm looking at this totally different. Because I'm saying, my, my guy is saying that north is that way. Yeah, I got, that's what I got too, so. Okay, so, so what you want to do is you want to take your map. See all those lines? You want to turn your map so that those internal lines match your grid lines. Ah, uh, gotcha. Like that one there. See, now rotate your whole map into north. Uh -huh. 
There you go. And now you spin that to direction of travel. Spin, spin the big, the background to the direction of travel. And to me, it's in. It's about uh, three forty-four, three forty-five. Yep, that's what I got. Yep. I'm like it's showing three. You say three forty-five. I'm gonna go to three forty-five. See, see. And if you put it, if you put the center of this right on eight, which is there, keep your grid lines lined up. Spin yourself into north, and you're you're trying to find this guy, which is right in there. So we're, where we want to go is that way. For what number? For one? For one, yeah. Okay, see, I thought it would be more. I thought one's right there. It is right there, and that's that's your direction of travel. That's what you're turning that arrow oh, to so, line up gotcha. for. Oh, gotcha. Okay. The, right. Yeah, center that there, and you see where one is right there. Okay. So once again, spin this so that you're you're more lined up with north. My grid lines are a little off. All right, okay. All right. So that, if one's there, I'm right on top of eight. So I would show. See, look at look at mine right now, because you can see through the middle of mine. I'm on eight. My grid lines are parallel. Right. And my direction of travel to get from here to there is going this way, right, sort of at that dead stump. So you're, you're looking to go this way. So you, this needs to spin. Yeah, see? Draw that imaginary line from the center of this to off, the center of that. Off that arrow, but that's yeah, my, that's that's my direction. Yeah, that's direction of travel. Okay, all right. See, so, I, I, I was thinking it'd be more like that way, but I'll follow see, your lead. But if you, keep, if you keep that on eight, which is where we're standing right now, right? So you park yourself right here. Theoretically, the center of that circle is right here. Right. You put your compass pointing north with your grid lines matching up to your map and everything rotated north. Then you say, okay, for me to get to where I'm going, it's that way. Okay. Now from over here, it's that slight bit of difference, but it's that's where we're going. And we're going to keep the open area, the white. Yeah, I think so. But I want to see, I want to now line it up with the map terrain you were talking about, the pit and the other. Oh, let's drop my compass. Okay. So, contour wise, it's up one contour line, so it's up two and a half meters vertically. That's, you know, these, right. these lines. So, it's a little bit uphill, but not very much. And then that indicates the, this excavation, that V. Okay. So, and we happen to be right at the V. Okay, cool. All right. So that's one. All right, let me get a shot of that. That's their 851. Okay. All right, so now we gotta go back. So well, now from here, look at, looking in reverse, keeping my north-south direction going here. Okay, now I'm sitting at one. Over to my left, just a little bit, and we're, you're talking maybe 20 meters or less there is a uh, uh a path right we intersect that is that a, which i think that's a path the dotted line okay all right i think but even if it's not look here 
we go straight over to the fence line and down. Pick up seven. And we can pick up seven. Seven, seven and eight. Uh -huh. Well, the other eight. The yes. hard eight, the intermediate eight. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. so we go, we go due west or due, yeah, due west into the fence, pretty much. Due west into the fence. And we'll double check that distance from here. I read that as being... Uh, like I see it, two, 270. Oh, by distance, okay. Yeah. Three times five, I see that as being uh, 150... Okay, meters so. a little less than that because we're not going to the fence we're going to the path i see and we could probably looks like we can go it's somewhat clear yeah we can pretty go straight to it and then from there going down to seven looks like it's uh, a little less than the same it's uh 125 meters okay So glad we're doing this. Yeah. Get the out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, and when I think when I take their official classes, that'll be a great refresher. I'll kind of everything they're talking about as far as any tips or hints they're giving me in that class. Yeah, it's definitely not going to rust out here. When I was in Boy Scouts, we did this. And they actually put people with simulated first aid injuries at some of the waypoints. So then we had to correctly do the right treatment, yeah. tourniquet, splint, whatever. That's cool. What, what, have you guys ever, you guys seen, you know, Wes, you've seen a benchmark, right? So like an actual USGS benchmark that's yeah. like, yeah. has the altitude and the whole yeah. thing. And the brass, uh, yeah, so a couple of our bearings were to benchmarks, which is kind of fun. And they're usually like a great view. You know, it's like it's a, it's a cliff or a right. top of a summit or something. Is this the trail you're talking about? Or, no, that's the fence, okay. Yeah, we whip. All right. Where we, where we appear to have come out is right here, which is good because you see this, the way that it veers away from the fence. Yeah, the little back. knuckles, yeah. Yeah, so we're right in the middle of that knuckle, so we hit it about perfectly. So, just to reinforce in my brain. Oh yeah, let me do my pacing, a good call. All right, so, so from there to there, I've got three centimeters approx, which would be, three is... 150? Yeah. Yeah, so it might be a little less than that, might be uh, 125. Now, is a, is a pace, is a meter considered a pace? Or well, it, it, everybody's footstep is different. That's right. why I was having George step it out. Right, because he, he, his is gonna be much. I'm probably oh, one and yeah, a half yeah. or over 0.75 meter. I, I was I was fairly close, taking longer steps, but I end up shortening my steps as I go. You know what I mean? You get right. tired. So one thing in over terrain too, I'd rather go shorter. And there's some people that do it a different way. They only count the right foot, or only count the left foot. All right, maybe so I'll try that. Fewer numbers that you have to remember. All right, so we said we think it's 150, so I'm going to count think, 75 yeah. paces with my right. And I think it's about 125, but either way, once we get to the next divot in the trail, that'll tell us, looking at your landmarks. Okay, right, that little hitch there. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. And it's going to be at the bottom of shallow depression. Okay. 
And that's probably why it hitches around because there's a, a depression down there. So counting two. Eight, nine, ten. I'm counting this for my camera purposes. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. You saw it from here? Yeah. Oh shit, yeah, there it is, okay. This is what I'm it's saying. It's just an odd shape, you know, so it sticks out. You know, somebody told me something about being looking for stuff underwater was there are no straight lines in nature. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's just, it stands out as odd. It's like, that's how we, we spot deer when we're in Colorado. It's such an odd shape. It's like, bam, there's something there. 